Hey everyone, so this is going to be a response video to uh, a video made by EDT1138. It's top three Tuesday most obscure items in your collection. Uh, I made this video once before, uh, but it ended up being really long, so I'm going to try to cut it short here and uh, just show you guys what I have. Nothing is too rare or very expensive or anything like that. Uh, they're just uh, things that aren't common to all regions, so it could be obscure to some people. And they just all happen to be Nintendo products. Uh, I don't mean for that, it just sort of happened. Uh, so the first thing I have here is the mobile, uh, let's see, the mobile adapter GB and it's packed in with uh, mobile golf you can see it here the front of the box is a little sun faded but inside both the boxes are in perfect condition I'm not going to bother to take them out because it'll take up way too much time but here is the mobile golf game and here is the mobile adapter for the Game Boy Color and it also works on the Game Boy Advance uh, what it let you do was connect your uh, Game Boy uh, with uh, specific uh, games in it like uh, Mobile Golf and also a version of Pokemon Crystal and you could play it uh, over like your cell phone signal and it was compatible with like a whole list of cell phones that's on the back of the box of the adapter but they're not listed here so I can't really tell you which ones they're compatible with either way the network's down now so it won't even work it's just an interesting little thing Next up is Learn with Pokemon Typing Adventure. This is the PAL region version. Uh, it was first released in Japan uh, two years ago in 2011. Uh, and then it was released last year in uh, the UK only. And also in Australia at the beginning of this year, I think in January. This is the uh, English UK version of it. Uh, it's really fun. It's just what you think that it might be, and that is a DS Pokemon game um, that's based on uh, typing. It teaches you how to type, uh, but it's also a really fun game. I like these sort of typing games, and it comes with its own uh, Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, the Japanese version has uh, different uh, keyboard variants. This one is just the basic white one, but I think they also had a, a black variant uh and then some other sort of variants uh, in Japan. But yeah, it's a fun game. It has Pokemons from the first to the fifth generation. And yeah, it's a typing game. Not much else can be said about it. And this set includes the wireless keyboard, the Nintendo DS Compact Stand, and uh, the game itself. And it's uh, compatible with all DS systems and even the 3DS and 3DS XL. But I haven't tried it out on the 2DS yet, so I don't know if it'll work there. And the third thing I have is the Wii Mini. Uh, so far, <laughs> let me just get a good angle of it. Uh, it's only been released in Canada, and I believe it was also released in uh, different European countries uh, sometime this spring. And uh, as you might be able to tell, it's just a revision of the Wii. It's the last revision of it. Uh, it has no online functionality. It doesn't even support S-Video. Uh, it's just components. Uh, it takes away uh, the USB stick, uh, the USB ports. Uh, I think it leaves you with one, I believe. Um, it comes packed in with a controller, and starting September 18th, I believe it was, they started packing in Mario Kart with this at the same uh, price at uh, $99.99. Uh, this one here, I got it for 80 bucks on a sale. Um, it was about 80 bucks. I think it was like 78 or 79 dollars, but whatever. And uh, yeah, it's most likely not going to be released in many other countries because I really don't think they're going to go ahead and make any more of these. Uh, it didn't sell that well. At least in Canada, it did. It sold about uh, 37,000 units, something like that. 37,000 units. Um, but I think they made over 100,000 of them. So. That's not terribly good either. Uh, but yeah, those are the three things I have. And uh, yeah, they're not incredibly rare. They're not incredibly obscure. But that's my collection. I have pretty random uh, games. Nothing too crazy. Because 
it's really hard to find good stuff cheap in the city of Toronto, and I don't have the money to spend crazy amounts of money on nice things. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Got to five minutes, sort of went over the limit, so I'll just end it off here. See ya.